my first uh, recollection of the army was when we were uh, quite young children and we used to ride our bicycles through what they called the camp road which went from uh, diagonally from the corner of King and Center through the commons right through the middle of the army camp past the officers quarters and past the rows of tents where the regular soldiers lived out to John Street and uh, we used to go through there often and uh, one day going through there we discovered that there was a place in the army camp called the canteen (laughs) and uh, very nice uh, man ran that his name was Tom and he I mean always reminded me of my grandfather and he used to give us ice cream cones and chocolate bars so when we went through the camp road it was always to go to the canteen (laughs) (laughs) and then um, uh, I have other recollections of the um, uh, soldiers coming down to the beach to our beach to go swimming and oddly enough we never saw anybody in a uniform they they didn't wear a an army uniform on the street. I suppose they must have had the uh, army maneuvers maybe early in the morning. We didn't see those. And uh, when they came down to the beach, they were just like uh, the local boys. Mm-hmm. And uh, when and they had um, in Simcoe Park, they used to have a pavilion with an orchestra, and they had dances there on Saturday night, uh, which we weren't supposed to go to, but. Uh, I'm afraid he did sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and the, um, with the, the local boys would be there and a lot of the um, army boys, but they wouldn't be wearing uniforms. Mm-hmm. And uh, sometimes you could see them practicing um, for the musical ride out there in the commons. And then sometimes they would have the military tattoos and other events, but not very often, maybe once in the summer be able to see something like that and uh, there was another um, army camp which wasn't um, the regular camp it was called the militia and they used to come every um, summer for two weeks and uh, uh, they really practically tore the town apart we we only had one policeman and they had to hire um, extra policemen when the militia camp was here I don't think they liked them very much because they were they were uh, people that worked at other things or during the depression didn't work at anything weren't able to work and they belonged to uh, the militia where they uh, had drilling a couple of times a, a week at night and then the army camp and they got paid to attend these things so when they were over here it was just a sort of a holiday for these young men and um and uh, there were um, what they used to call beer parlors, the hotels, and so they uh, made good use of those. 